Jesus was not a carpenter. Now, I know that we might think so based on stories that we were told, but if we go straight to the source, we can find that the way that people are telling this story is not the way that the Bible is actually saying it. So we wanna go straight to the source in Mark 6, Matthew 13, and we're going to see how this looks. Mark 6, one through three says, then he went out from there and came to his own home country, that's important, and his disciples followed him. And when the Sabbath had come, he began to teach in the synagogue and many hearing him were astonished saying, where did this man get these things? And what wisdom is this which is given to him that such mighty works are performed by his hands? Here it is. Is this not the carpenter, the son of Mary and brother of James, Joseph, Judas, and Simon, and are not his sisters here with us? So they were offended at him. Now there's a lot to unpack in that. We just take, is this not the carpenter, and believe that that is truth and that that is Jesus' profession. But the problem with this is, is that we're not looking at the state of the people. The people there were already offended, which means that they were scoffing. They were mocking him. The reason that they were mocking him is because it's no secret that Jesus was conceived before Mary was married to Joseph. That means that there were rumors that he was birthed through fornication. And if you read John chapter eight, they do this many times. His own people, they do this many times, okay? They kind of mock the way that Jesus was born. They're doing that here. They are mocking him. They're saying, who is this guy? You know, this guy, Joseph is your dad, right? The carpenter. So basically, if Joseph is your dad and he is a carpenter, or we think that he was your dad, right? We don't know, they're mocking him, right? So they're saying, this: if Joseph is your dad, then basically you should be carving some wood somewhere. Go cut some wood, go make some houses or something. Go build something. What are you doing here in the temple on the Sabbath teaching as if you have Bible seminary skills? That's basically what they're doing. They're rejecting what Jesus is saying. And because of this, Jesus responds and says that a prophet is not without honor except in his own home country and among his own relatives. Because even his family didn't even want to be with him. Only Mary followed him. And then later on, we see James follow him because he wrote the letter. So later on, James came. But his brothers and sisters, they didn't want to believe him. And his own hometown did not want to believe him. Okay, so does this mean that Jesus never did any carpentry, period? We can't say that. Because Joseph, he was raised in the employ of Joseph, we can infer that Jesus had carpentry skills. Because if your dad does it, then you can pretty much know that the son is going to develop some skill. All right, for instance, my father is a professional musician. That does not mean that I followed in his footsteps. But does it mean that I have certain knowledge of music and certain musical instruments and the way that certain musical machines work? Yes, because my father did that. So Jesus, you can infer that he would know of certain things. This is why when he used a lot of parables, he often talked about building things. He would know about that. But was that his profession? No, Jesus was not a carpenter. He might have known about carpentry, but that does not make you a carpenter. So the next time that somebody tells you something about Jesus that's not actually in the Bible, you better look it up yourself. This is something that is so important that many times we often do not do. We take it because we trust the source of the person, but I recommend that we all go to the source, the Bible, because if we go to Mark 6 and Matthew 13, it does not say that that was Jesus's profession. There are people who mocked Jesus and called him a carpenter or a carpenter's son. And the reason that they did it is because they were making fun of or mocking his origin because Mary was conceived with Jesus before she was married to Joseph. So they did not believe that Jesus had any reason to be practicing religious activity. They did not want to believe what he was saying because he was not a rabbi in their eyes, okay? So look that up, March 6, 
Matthew 13, and hopefully that'll clear it up for you. Until the next one, be blessed, guys.